Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Beauty Views. It is Friday, which makes it... Fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday. That's right, it is fun Friday. And on a Friday, the first drink on a Friday, because it's the start of my weekend, I like to drink something. It's a bit fun, a bit different, a bit something to get the pate started. Uh, this one's been recommended by a couple of lads at work. Uh, not quite sure this is a party drink, boys. I think they just wanted to drink some shit lag, if I'm being brutally honest with you. Um, but it's been recommended, so I shall try it. I've got a few recommendations. If you want to recommend a party drink, a fun drink, then just leave a, a comment and uh, I will at some time get round to drinking all these drinks. So this is Lynx Super. It's a premium lager. It says so on the can, so it must be true. 7.5% uh, ABV, and that's what I paid for it, 199 $1.99. Uh, one ninety nine in a local off license. Um, now I used to poo poo stuff like this, and I had when I was in Scotland had tenant super, um, slightly more alcoholic than this one, and I was ready to poo poo that one. <laughs> I actually really liked it, but to be fair, sometimes they're really good. Um, oops. Yeah, the Tenet Super was really nice. Uh, the Fax is quite nice. I don't like the Fax. I did, I did like the Fax 10. And then I went off that. Um, the normal fa the Fax of Premium is quite a nice brew. But that's 5%, I think it is. So, that has poured clear and golden. Plenty of carbonation. Small white head. Looks very lagery. Let's get a sniff to shall we? Mm, doesn't smell of a great deal, if I'm being honest. A little bit of sweet malt. No, not really pick up a aroma on that one. No, I, I thought with it being a seven and a half percent, I really thought there'd be a strong alcohol aroma. No, it's not got that strong beer aroma at all. This might be quite all right. Right, taste test. Cheers, everybody. It's harsh. It's a little bit harsh. No, I won't look. I won't look at the ingredients just yet. There's a lot of um, sweetness coming off such a pale lager so I was just wondering if it had some um, some sweeteners is some sweetness in there some beers lagers like this can add often um, glucose syrup something like that uh, the glucose turns into alcohol it is cheaper than buying malts I don't happen there my video just went off I don't know how far I got and I didn't look back at um, See how far I got. I think I was explaining just about glucose syrup and how it is uh, used because it's cheaper than malt and it leaves a bit of sweetness behind and hides a bit of the alcohol. Then it's not great. It's not great. Um, yes, yeah, so it's sweet. Hang on. sweet if I'm if I'm honest it tastes like a little bit of citrus in there but it's got a harsh um, quite a harsh alcohol flavor with it as well so it's just on the back of the throat which isn't isn't pleasant at all let's look at the ingredients shall we it says contains gluten, wheat and a barley, suitable for vegetarians and vegans, lucky them. Uh, best of chilled, I'll tell you what's in it, apart from it's got wheat, uh, it's got gluten, wheat and barley in it. Uh, produced in the UK, uh, canned for Booker. 
and uh, Macro in Belfast. Doesn't really have a lot, anything to say about anything at all about what's in it. Um, so yeah, a uh, bit bit of a mystery, but yeah, my bet my view is it's got a little bit of gl glucose soup in there, which does make it a little bit more palatable. Uh, I'll have to ask the lads when I get back to work because I'm sure they don't drink this like this. I'm sure it's mixed with something, just to give uh, take off the edge of that alcohol, that nasty alcohol flavour. Yeah, it is what it is. It's um, I finished it on that first swig. If I'm being honest, I didn't think I'd be able to. It's all right. It's all right. It's a cheap, um, strong lager. Um, no real flavour to it. It's a little bit of sweetness. You do get a little bit of citrus through. It tastes a little bit orangey for me, brutally honest. Um, but there's a harsh harshness there. It tastes a little bit like sweeteners, you know, the artificial um, artificial sweetener flavour, and just a little bit of harshness coming from the alcohol. Um, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I am going to score that. I'm always careful with these because because uh, um, people do like drinks like this, and people do. It's a cheap, strong beer, and people do rely on stuff like this rather than some of the fancy stuff you see in supermarkets. So, I'm going to be kind. It's not my thing. Probably will never buy it again. I'm going to score it 3.5 out of 10. 3.5 out of 10 for Managed Beer Reviews. Whatever you are drinking, please enjoy. I've got a Christmas beer coming up. So, stay tuned for that. So, until that review, cheers, everybody.